Hi, this is Steve. Let me ask you something. If a cure for multiple sclerosis became available today, right now, would you do it, even if it took the form of ultraviolet light? I'll answer for myself. As someone who engages in the practice, unequivocally, without a doubt, yes. Ultraviolet light is the cure that time forgot. In my first video, The Way Out of Multiple Sclerosis, I showed you the importance of ultraviolet light, how and why it works. It goes much deeper than vitamin D, and it benefits more than skin diseases like psoriasis and vitiligo. Now I'm going to show you how I do it. When I first started using my lamp in 2018, I didn't feel anything for a really long time. But by the time I reached the end of my first year, my body and mind felt so fantastic, I'll never go back. I believe that too much UV light is bad. But at the same time, I strongly believe that because I didn't have enough for the first 37 years of my life, I developed and suffered from MS. Now, just two years later, my life has completely changed. All my symptoms are gone, and I'm starting to forget the pain I've lived with since 2003. So let me talk about the lamp. I own a Reminder Model 2 UVB lamp with digital touch timer. I'll put some links in the description below. It's designed to give off a specific wavelength of light between 315 and 320 nanometers. For a practical, real-world translation of that, it's the sweet spot that creates therapeutic DNA damage. How long you expose yourself is very individualized and depends on how much melanin you have in your skin. Its sole purpose is to block UVB light. That makes sense. If you live under constant UV exposure, through evolution, your body has developed a way to regulate it. So the darker your skin, the more light is needed to create damage. How I found my own personal number is by starting small and working up. The light is very concentrated. Reminder states that every minute of light exposure is the equivalent of between 6 to 8 minutes if you were standing in the tropics under cloudless skies at midday. Obviously, the longer you spend every, under UVB light, the more likely the chance of getting burned. So for me and my fair skin, good thing that it's so concentrated. That way, I don't have to expose myself for very long. When I first started, I would do just one minute. After starting there, over weeks, I slowly added more time. Eventually, I came to the point where my skin would get sensitive to the touch. Not pain a painful burn, like I said, but I could definitely feel it. And I sort of looked like a walking tomato for a day. I was using between four to five minutes when that would happen. So I backed off. There's a three minute button on the lamp. So I thought that was the perfect time to use. To achieve better coverage, I rotate slightly every minute during those three minutes. Left side for a minute, middle for another, then right side for the last, and the light turns itself off. I do this every other day, moving through four areas. My back, wait a day. My chest, wait a day. Then front of my legs, another day. And then finally the back of my legs. At this point, I just repeat the entire cycle over. It works out to exposing every body part once every eight days. Unfortunately, there's a big caveat to UVB light. In the chain of events that are activated by the damage, 
there is a gene called P53. It acts as a tumor suppressor. It regulates cell division by keeping cells growing and dividing too fast or in an uncontrolled way. But there is a problem in certain people. For those with systemic lupus erythematosus and systemic sclerosis, autoantibodies are created that inhibit P53's function, which sounds like an attack to me. And in rheumatoid arthritis, many have a P53 gene mutation in synovial cells. Again, sounds like an attack. If you are one of these people, UVB light might be bad for your health. It's not a guarantee, but the possibility is there. I'm no expert, and I don't know if there's a solution. But the damage that it's caused is not done without purpose. It's a crazy and weird paradox that I need to lightly damage myself in a positive and controlled way to prevent my immune system from attacking in a negative and uncontrolled way. They always say that in autoimmunity, we need to suppress the immune system with drugs to control it. I'm not against the drugs. I've been on many since I was diagnosed in 2004, and I still take one to this day. Even though I don't suffer anymore, I like to think my morning pill is a little white guardrail on life's highway. <laughs> but it won't save me. My savior against another attack is ultraviolet light. It gives my immune system the tools it needs to naturally control itself the way it should be. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video.